Hello everyone! If you follow my channel you may have seen me unboxing and assembling the Bissell Revolution Pet Pro Carpet Washer and you may have seen my demonstration where I'm cleaning some upholstery and stairs using the hose and the included cleaning tools. Well today it's time to test this bad boy on some carpets. So I'm in a living room, it's not my living room, but I'm in a living room that's got clean looking carpets. I have to say they look, do look clean. It's not going to be a dramatic comparison. They look clean. The hall carpet does have some stains and dirt on it, so you will see the machine doing its job. But I think you'll find when I show you the dirty water that comes out of a relatively clean looking carpet, that might convince you you need to buy a carpet washer as well. Not necessarily this one. You can buy whatever carpet washer you want, but hopefully this video might help you make up your mind whether you want to choose the Bissell. Okay, well, first thing I need to do is vacuum the carpets thoroughly and then I need to fill the tank with some warm water and Bissell cleaning solution. Vacuuming your carpet thoroughly prior to using a carpet washer is very important. So take your time with the vacuum cleaner. Don't just have a quick whip round, have a thorough clean. Maybe take at least twice the time you'd normally take vacuuming the carpet because the more dry dirt you can remove from the carpet, the more effective the carpet washer will be. So here is the freshly vacuumed living room carpet and I'm sure you're all thinking that carpet looks very clean. There's no need to wash it. But as I move there, I don't know if you can see a little bit of shadowing on the carpet. That looks like dirt to me. And in the higher traffic areas where people walk in, there are some odd stains. It's a bit hard to pick up on camera. You might just be able to see that stain in the middle of your picture. And this is quite a dirty area. I think you can see here in the hallway, there's quite a dirty mark there. And we have other marks. I think there's one there. You can see that on camera, I think. And this is the main mat. So obviously, although it's a dark color, that will be holding on to a lot of dirt. Most of the dirt is trapped by this runner here, but some stains do appear. There's dogs in this house and they sometimes have little excited accidents, which I think is what that stain is there. So most of the uh, browny yellowy stains are caused by dogs. So what I would recommend to you, if your carpet is very dirty, you can go round all the inaccessible places where you can't reach with the main machine. Attach the hose and do all round the edges and also do areas where you can't reach with the big machine. I mean, I can get the Bissell into this area, but I won't be able to get right in the corner. So attaching the hose will ensure that all the corners, all the nooks and crannies are clean. I'm not doing that for this video. I've already demonstrated this machine using the hose and cleaning tools and the sides of this room aren't too dirty. So I'm just going to concentrate really on the main area. So the machine is very easy to set up. I just have to fill this tank up to the water line with hand top water up to 60 degrees. It even says there 60 degree or 140 Fahrenheit maximum. So you don't have to measure, you just fill it to the water line and then you top it up to the formula line with Bissell formula. And because this is the dirtiest carpet in the house, I'm going to be using the wash and protect pro stain and odor. So hopefully that will deal with the mess. The first thing I'm going to do though, because this Bissell has the clean shot feature here, I'm actually going to pre-treat those stains I've pointed out. So there's a stain here. Let's try and get out of the light. You can see it. There's a stain there and the other stains I've shown you. Big stain there and a stain there. I think there could be one there as well. So I'm going to do that first so the formula has time to work and then I'll shampoo the rest of this carpet. Okay, so I've filled the tank with hot water and solution and a little tip for you, just give the tank a bit of a shake to ensure that all the solution is evenly mixed with the water. And then it's just a simple case of putting it firmly on top of the machine and now I can get cleaning. Thank you. 
It's always best to start cleaning your carpet in the far corner of the room away from the door. This is so you can clean the carpet and exit the room, close the door and leave it for as long as possible. You can walk on the carpet when it's damp, but it's best if you can do it, say first thing in the morning, get the job done, close the door, and by the evening time, you should be able to use your room. But the longer you leave it without walking on it, the better. So the best technique to use is to do what Bissell call two wet passes. That is two passes forward and back at a slow pace while you're squeezing the solution trigger. Once you've done a small area, for example, one square meter, one square yard, release the trigger and go over the area several times picking up the dirty water until you can't see very much of the solution coming up the nozzle. Okay, let's get cleaning. During cleaning, if the motor starts to sound a little bit more high pitched and there's nothing being sucked up, it means that the safety cutout valve is activated in the dirty water tank and it's time to empty the water. And I think you can see this water, considering this carpet look clean, that water is pretty dark. So as I remove the tank from the machine, it's quite a lot of foam. Look at the color of that water. Now this is a small living room, nobody wears shoes in here and it's only used really in the evenings. But look at that, so you can imagine the dirt you'd get out of a living room that receives a lot of traffic if you've got a lot of pets, a lot of children running in from the garden. A machine like this is invaluable to keep your carpets clean and fresh. Okay I better empty all this dirt and then continue with my cleaning.
there you go that's the living room carpet cleaned and it does look better it smells absolutely lovely in this room as well I am surprised myself I didn't think it would look quite so different it's not that long ago since I cleaned this and as you can see more dirty water probably a little bit darker because I've cleaned the area near the door so that was a bit dirtier than the rest of the carpet but that is pretty impressive I'm going to finish the video well I'll leave that out because it needs emptying I'll finish the video by doing the hallway which is dirty so we'll have even more dirt to be removed
So there you go, that's the hall carpet and runner as clean as the living room carpet. A very impressive result. Well, that's about the end of today's demonstration. If you have any comments or questions, please comment below. If you've liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you don't subscribe, please consider subscribing and you'll be notified of all my new uploads. So until the next time, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.